The AR-15 has proven itself to be an incredibly capable weapon. It's light, reliable, and accurate. It served in many different wars among many different countries. When it was first implemented, AR-15s were typically longer rifles, ranging from 14.5 to 20 inch barrels. This length makes the rifle ideal for accelerating its 5.56 by 45 round to a deadly speed but limits these rifles from being ideal in other types of operations. To this end, the US Naval Surface Warfare Center, Crane Division, produced a replacement upper for the M4 carbines that were issued to the Navy SEALs at the time. This upper was called the Close Quarter Battle Receiver. Sporting a rail system for attachments, this upper was to be the latest and greatest weapon for the Navy SEALs. Since then, Many other military and law enforcement units have procured the complete rifle, now named the Mark 18. So what is the Mark 18? How does this shorter rifle perform at distance? And how good is it, and ready or not? Since the adoption of the M16 as the United States Army Service Rifle, there have been many efforts to shorten the gun. Beginning with the CAR-15, many different projects were started, with progress accelerating after the US Army Rangers stated their M16s were too unwieldy to use effectively. This all culminated into one rifle, the M4 Carbine. Sporting a 14.5 inch barrel, the M4 Carbine proved to be a much easier weapon to handle, so much so that it largely replaced the M16 in the hands of US Army Infantry by 2005. In 2015, the US Marines followed suit. However, 14.5 inches was still too long for special operations units, whose operators required something shorter for the types of missions they typically went on. In response, the US Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane Division developed a close quarter battle receiver. The CQBR was an upper designed to fit an M16A2 lower. It houses a 10.3 inch barrel, making the entire weapon much shorter than both an M16 and an M4. Shortening a rifle designed to fire 556 by 45 can have several consequences. The first is lethality. 556x45 is a small cartridge that has exponential lethality compared to its larger cousins. This is because when 556x45 penetrates flesh, it tends to tumble and yaw, fragmenting the round and doing significant damage to the body. However, this effect will only occur at high velocities, about 2900 feet per second. A 10.3 inch barrel lowers the 556x45 velocity to around 2,500 feet per second. This means that a 5.56 round fired out of a Mark 18 will not consistently tumble, reducing its potential lethality. The other main consequence is reliability. An AR-15 requires a certain amount of gas pressure to consistently cycle the bolt carrier. This gas pressure builds when the bullet passes the gas port before leaving the barrel, known as dwell time. Because of its barrel length, the Mark 18 has a very short dwell time. As a result, the gas port on the Mark 18 barrel is larger than its carbine and rifle cousins to ensure that the bolt cycles reliably. This comes at the expense of parts wear. Because of increased gas pressure, the bolt travels much faster, and the unlocking of the bolt is more violent on the Mark 18 than its longer counterparts. The civilian market has come up with additional ways to tune the Mark 18, such as adjustable gas blocks and different buffer springs. But when it comes to law enforcement and military, the larger gas port means accelerated parts wear is an unavoidable downside of the Mark 18. 
with all these negatives involving its lethality and reliability. The question is, why is the Mark 18 needed at all? Before its inception, submachine guns such as the MP5 were the undisputed king of CQB. The 9mm round is a good round in close quarters, and the MP5 is a proven weapon. However, even without a consistent tumbling effect, the 5.56 5 round is more ballistically effective than 9mm in every way. As the threat evolves, so must the weapons used to eliminate them. So with all that said, is the Mark 18 a good choice? In Ready or Not, the real-world effectiveness of the Mark 18 carries over into the game. It's small enough to be maneuverable in close quarters, while doing more damage than some machine guns. It can also make shots out to range more effectively than any gun chambered in a pistol caliber. It's a great gun, and one of the best choices in Ready or Not. The Mark 18 is used by almost every unit in the Joint Special Operation Command, as well as many Tier 1 units around the world. Countless SWAT units and International Special Police units use some variant of the Mark 18. And most importantly, it has found its way into the hands of many citizens who are concerned about defending themselves from threats both small and large. The Mark 18 is undeniably a proven weapon.